Hello and welcome to the PC Security Channel. Today we'll be taking a look at Sophos Home Premium, which has finally been released after a long period of beta. As some of you might know already, this is their business class security product, which includes protection against ransomware, which is basically their Intercept X module, and also comes with exploit mitigation. So this is really a product that is well equipped to deal with zero-day malware or ransomware. As with most other Sophos products, it is also entirely managed via a web-based interface. So once you sign in to your account, which I will do right now, you can control every aspect of your security. We have antivirus protection, web protection, ransomware privacy, and malicious traffic protection. So we have all our modules here and all the advanced settings over here. The interface on the desktop client is very simplistic. All the management is done online. So in order to test this out effectively, we have some malware links, which I will be trying out now. And shortly after, we will check out Intercept X with some new ransomware. I'll just be going over a few threats that I've picked up recently, and we'll see how their zero-day components deal with it without the help of their signatures. Time to get started. Here's our first link. And it is immediately blocked by the web filter. The next one is also detected as a malicious HTML page. Now we have 2018.exe, which is also blocked. The next malware link is Chrome, and it is detected as malware generic. The actual Chrome would probably be detected as spyware. So far so good for Sophos. I haven't noticed a single threat make it past the web shield. We haven't even had to download any of the files and see if their real-time protection catches it. It seems when it comes to signatures, they're actually doing very well. And that's that. So that is a clean sheet in the web prevention test. All the links were blocked directly, which is really neat. But that's not necessarily saying too much because I know of a lot of other products that would manage similar results. Now let's get to the meat of the test, which is basically getting some brand new threats and running them on the system. But before that, just to ensure that uh, the signatures don't pick any of those, I'm going to disable real-time protection. But I will ensure that ransomware protection remains turned on, as does exploit mitigation, although I doubt if that's really going to come into play. It's most likely going to be ransomware protection, which is essentially backed by Intercept X versus the ransomware. So what do we have here? For this test, I have three new threats. This one is actually a variant of um, Hidden Tier. Rapid Ransomware is something you've probably seen in the last video. It's a new ransomware that encrypts files in real time. And Scarab is a deadly ransomware from Egypt. So we'll be running all of these one by one and we'll see what happens to our files. Ah, oh, before that, let me just show you what we have. So we have a couple of text documents here. Some pictures here um, as usual. And we'll see what happens to them as our ransomware takes hold. So first, the plague from Egypt. The scatup. Deletes itself first before bringing in the reign of doom. But that does not seem to be able to make it to our files because the suspicious behavior causes it to be blocked by Sophos. Now that is how I like to see zero-day protection components kicking in. No fuss, just straightforward blocked after noticing malicious behavior. Now here's the hidden tier variant. And again, it crashes because the attack was intercepted by Sophos. 
As the alert states, the file has been terminated to prevent execution of malicious code. Please check your computer for malicious software and um, updates. So that's fine. We're going to go ahead and close this. We can clean up later. Now let's go ahead and run Rapid. This is the real-time encrypting ransomware. Now it's interesting to see that we did manage to get a payment message written here, but none of our files were affected, so that's good. And it seems Rapid was also blocked. That is really good from Sophos. Again, a couple of uh, files here. So the recovery message did manage to get written, partially it seems, but all our data is still intact. Uh-oh, when we look at our documents, it seems one file managed to get encrypted. This one seems to be all right, but the other one, huh. did actually get encrypted. So we had one file out of all these files that was actually affected by the ransomware. To me, this is an amazing result for Sophos because this shows that their technology is actually noticing malicious behavior and then preventing it or coming in and intercepting the ransomware. And this is absolutely nothing to do with some sort of database matching or signatures. Yeah, one file did get encrypted, but think about this realistically. Like, nobody's going to have an issue with one small document being encrypted and gigabytes of data being saved. Of course, if you're unfortunate and that's the document that had all your important data, it's really unfortunate. But then again, this was only a one kilobyte file. Maybe if it was a larger file, it wouldn't have been affected first. So... Overall, considering how ransomware attacks work, I think this technology is really effective, and it's one of the better results I've seen lately when it comes to ransomware prevention. Trust me, a lot of products would not do anything and would let all of these files get encrypted. And some of them would block the ransomware, but then again, that's just because they would prevent modification of these files in any case by most programs. But this is a really effective approach, and as you've seen, it seems to be working quite well. And that is why I'm actually quite interested in this product, Sophos Home Premium. I would definitely recommend checking it out. If you're in the market looking for a home security product, seems to be one of the more effective options out there. And I personally like the web interface quite a bit. It seems to work seamlessly. It's a very polished and well-designed product, which definitely gets my recommendation. Maybe I'll make some more tests with this in the future, but for now, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and share if you did. This is Leo from the PC Security Channel. Don't forget to subscribe, and as always, stay informed, stay secure.